Hello, guys. Welcome back to a second favorite of 2022, which is February favorite. I get started right away. There are a few products that you guys probably seen in my past videos. I will quickly talk about that. Then we move on to a few very, very good discoveries. Okay, firstly, let me quickly cover. These two, those two appeared in my previous video, which I already commented that how good they are. First of all, is from Medicube Red Concealer. It contains SPF 30 PA2+. This concealer I find is very similar, like a tart shaped concealer. It is very creamy, medium to high coverage, very easy to use. You don't have to choose areas. It's pretty much can use for the entire face and it doesn't cake up in anywhere. Unless you are extremely dry skin, you may need to make sure that your skin are well hydrated. But other than that, if you are normal skin or towards oily skin, this concealer at least on my face, it hasn't creased up in anywhere. I use it for full face. Today, I use it for the under eye area and it has no creases whatsoever. If you want to see the miracle and detail side about this concealer, I will link my last video over here. You can certainly check it out. Um, this concealer, the one thing I find is it's better to use after the foundation rather than before. If you do it before the foundation, it, it does still move a little bit after you apply the foundation. Not so much, but I find the best way to use it is to use after the foundation. The second one appeared in my last video as well is from Maybelline, which is their new Hyper, Hyper Sharp Liquid Eyeliner. The design is absolutely Gorgeous, very, very sleek. And I love this most is the tip. It is soft enough for you to actually draw your waterline. In order to achieve that, you need to take at least two boxes. One is the tip is soft and hard enough for you to glide between your lashes. And secondly, is you need the pigmentation of the liquid is strong enough. Because if it's a little bit watery or a little bit uneven, you will see the patchiness easily to create it on your lashes. But this one oh, is super, super good. It's very easy to do different type of lines. If you want more precise, you want to draw the wings. Oh, this is so easy, so easy to maneuver. And this also lasts long. Because recently I got very, very dry eyes. I don't know why, whether because the weather change itself. And I pretty much use eye drops on a daily basis. And this liquid eyeliner has no smudge whatsoever. Since I got Maybelline's one, I haven't touched Kiss Me's liquid eyeliner for a while. <laughs> I don't know whether this is just for the Asian market or you can actually buy this in Europe or America as well. So... If you are still struggling of getting a non-smudge liquid eyeliner, try Maybelline's this new one. Remember the shape. Remember the shape. Next, let me share my favorite foundation from last month. It's from Guerlain. It is their Gold Radiance Foundation and my color is double zero. Glam this golden packaging foundation is not new. It's been in the market for so long. To be honest, this is not a overly surprised foundation. One is because of the, you know, the name and the price attached with it. You, your expectation is obviously going higher. But the B is because the more I use it, the more I feel I find the similarity of this foundation. And that I compare this one with my favorite Gucci foundation, I find two of them are pretty much identical. Identical. Let me first show you the formulation, okay? This side is Guerlain and this side is Gucci. From the swatches, you already can tell the texture and the formulation. Two of them looks very, very similar. If you really want to see the difference, Guerlain's one is slightly lighter compared to Gucci's one. And the smell, both of them, identical. They smell exactly the same. 
The only difference is Gucci's is slightly smells stronger than Guerlain's one. Other than that, two of them smells exactly the same. And then the finish, the coverage, the lasting on my face, two of them performed exactly the same. Exactly the same. This is the most important reason I included this one in my favorite. Although it's not a surprisingly good foundation, it's just because the same as Gucci's foundation, the overall performance, like in summary, it is a good foundation to use. Pore minimizing is kind of a blur, is about 50 to 60 percent. The finish is like a skin finish, coverage is about the medium. For me, it doesn't cake up. And the lasting part is same as Gucci as well. So this is the type of foundation that is expensive but independent. So it doesn't really rely on what primer you used or what setting powder you used, what face cream you used. This pretty much perform and steadily perform well on its own. To be honest, unless you are extremely dry or extremely oily skin, I think 80% of us will be suitable for this foundation. If you are after a high-end foundation and you have similar expectation as myself, I would recommend to choose either Gucci or Guerlain's one. The next one is a liquid eyeshadow from 3CE and my color is EL002. When you apply on the eyes, it looks like a wet cream, but when you smudge it out, it's not become like a powdery right away, but it's become like cream blush finish, that type of texture. Although it's not like a powder powder finish, it's still very, very easy to be blended out on your eyelid. You can either use just your hand or you can use a brush. It can spread out evenly. And besides, look at the color. It's beautiful like salmon, coral, little bit of paddle pink in there. It's a beautiful base color as well as a individual eyeshadow on its own because this color can be built up. Like today's eye look, I mainly just use this liquid eyeshadow. So all I did is dot this in the middle of the eyes, smudge it out into the entire eyelid and then dot a little bit more towards the out corner, then add the more color from the out corner and inward. Then apply the same for the bottom of the eyes and give you a absolutely beautiful natural daily look. But I have to say, a little goes a long way <laughs> for this product. Although look at the size, it's only this tiny. It can last you pretty much forever. You only need a couple of tiny dots to blending out this color on your eyelid. And let me show you to build up. I will just put it over here. I just put a one dot over here. Just the tiny dot, yeah? Then you smudge out. Can you guys see how strong the pigmentation is? Once it's set completely, there is no stickiness whatsoever. It is similar like you applied like Colourpop and a lot of brand that they have like mashed potato, that type of eyeshadow formulation. Once it's been spread out on your eyelid, the finish is very similar like that. And on my eyes, it lasts long. It doesn't get smudges even with like eight, nine hours after that. It doesn't get sink into my double eye line. It just remain as it is. And it's somehow waterproof because as I mentioned, I've been putting eye drops quite recently and this one doesn't disappear from my eyes. Very highly recommend to try liquid eyeshadows. It's very easy to use. You don't need too much technique. So you just blend in the same area as you would blending a powder eyeshadows. But to find a good liquid eyeshadows, yeah, we, we, we need to try some more. We need to try and learn. But 3CE's formulation, highly recommend. The last one is my most, most exciting discovery last month. It's this brow pencil. It's from a brand called Hao Zhuang. Hao Zhuang, I think that's how to pronounce. At least from like, you know, the Chinese 
pinyin spelling. Anyway, I never heard about this brand. I've only seen this on Wei Pinghui. And I saw the design of this eyebrow pencil. I was just like, you know what? I just buy and try to see. First of all, let's have a look at the design. It is a very... You guys must have seen this type of eyebrow pencil. It comes like that. So here already been cut and sharped. And then what I did is I just made it the other side like made it even sharper can you see the angle over here make it even sharper therefore when you draw your eyebrow use the tip of it it can draw very very natural eyebrow let me put it on the hand i should draw, draw this way can you guys see Do you get what I mean? Even for people like me, who is not a professional makeup artist, and I can draw some individual hair like that, the most importantly is, originally when I first time doing the swatches on the hand, I really like it because I can see the color right away and it's very slim enough and easy to manage. But at the same time, I was thinking myself that, is this product a little bit too soft? Because the pigment when you do on the hand is already this strong. Is it going to be like a very difficult to do it on the eyebrows? It is not. Instead, it is very, very easy to be corrected as well. Today's eyebrows are used with this pencil itself. So all I did is to draw individual brow hair followed my brow shape. Then I fill up the gap between the fake drawed eyebrow hairs. Although when you look at my eyebrows, it's like, oh, it seems a little bit you know, too fakey and strong. And all you need to do is just smudge it out with a normal brow coat or brow brush. And it's become like very foggy, but at the same time, you still see the hint of individual brow hair and make your brow look so natural, especially when you look at me in person. You just feel my brow are born this way. It is even easier to use compared to liquid brow pencil. Guys, I don't know whether you guys be able to find this type of brow pencil through Amazon properly, or just find a similar, mine is random brand, just find a random brand like this. All you do is take a small sharp knife, just be careful with your hand. Then all you do is, is just make one side a little bit more flat, Therefore, to make the tip a little bit more flat and pointed in order to draw the individual hair. I'm just so glad I find this pencil because this outcome is exactly what I wanted to achieve for my eyebrows. Before, without discovering this, in order to achieve something like this, I have to use brow gel, brow powder, brow pencil, and liquid brow pen to achieve something like this. Nowadays, I just need to use one pencil. One pencil. Uh, but one thing I need to say that it may not work for beginners as you do need to have fairly steady hand to draw individual hair. But if you already, you know, fairly comfortable to draw your brow shape and use brow product, I highly recommend to try this pencil. The second monthly favorite is completed. Thank you so much for watching. And I also would love to know your guys' favorite. If you guys have any new discoveries or find something you really, really like it, please, please do leave your comments down below. I will be glad to check it out. Thank you once again for watching. If you like today's video, please do click the like button and most importantly, to subscribe to my channel. I will see you on my next video.